Hi, everybody. I made it. Experiencing a little technical difficulties here, but hopefully I've got it figured out. Modern technology and I do not always see eye to eye. Kind of like doing new math with an old math mind. That kind of tells you how old I am. Um, I'm covering up my workspace. I'll show you how. See, I was busy today. Um, this is one of the cards I made today um, with the B set. And this paper started out like this. Hi, Janice. Good to see you. Alrighty, so that I'm going to show you how I changed. Am I blurry or is it okay? This paper to, oh no, this paper to this paper. It's really kind of fun. This is one of the free papers that you can get with celebration for every $50 that you spend, you get something free out of the book. And the designer series paper was one of them. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to change, after I throw things on the floor, how easy it is to change simple, ugh, blurry again, all right, to this. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sponge, and I've put a little clip on it just to make it, and I've got some crushed curry ink. When you open, the, the ink pads are supposed to open like compacts. This one's pretty good. So we're just going to open it up and slide it in. Uh, I don't need that big of a block. I'm going to take a block. I changed where my camera is, so I'm hoping that that will help. And I'm just going to grab some ink on my clear block. Ooh, I grabbed a lot of ink on my spare block. Now I'm just going to close my... Now, I'm going to add just a drop or two of glycerin. This I just got, I believe I got it at Myers. And I just need a drop or two. That's plenty. There's my baby wipe. And what that does, it just helps the ink glide onto your paper so nice. And if it gets on your hands, it makes them soft. All right. So now I've got my glycerin on, I've got my ink on, and I'm going to ink up my sponge with all that ink and glycerin. And I'm just going to take my paper, and I like to start off my paper and just come on. Hi, Jenny. And here we go. Nina will join us in a little bit. She's running late, too. So... And if you've ever tried to put ink on paper before, it gets you can see different. Um, it leaves like little splotches. I kind of have one there. Maybe I can spread it out a little. And that's all there is to it. It's just yeah, making a mess. So that's all there is to it. My sponges, I can just take it to the sink and rinse it out, and it'll be fine, and I can use it again. I do usually try to keep one color per sponge. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. And I'll just take a baby wipe and just wipe my block off. There we go. And that's how I made the plain paper be crushed curry paper. That's kind of fun. That was fun. And that's how we got. I add a little wink of Stella on my bees after I brought his knees up. And there's the little bee down there. And then on the inside, um, the paper also has, it looks like this. And I did the same thing. I just took a section. And inked it up, and I used my dye and cut it out, and the color is really distorted. I am so sorry. So there's my inside piece. All right. That's one thing. Um, 
Don't tell me I've lost him already. Here he is. Uh, I was playing with the birthday bonanza set today. And this is really Bermuda Bay. It is not that as blue as it looks here. And this is Coastal Cabana. Um, I was playing and I decided that this could also be a bookmark. So I put removable tape on, uh, glue on it. No, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell it. But I like to use the Zig two-way glue pen. And if you put it on right away, it'll like I did with these, it'll stick tight. But if you put the glue on and let it dry, it acts like a sticky note. So whoever gets this card for their birthday, isn't he cute? I feel so bad for those koalas over in Australia. He makes me sad because of them. But anyway, um, that was my idea. When I made this, I decided that the colors underneath were too bright. So I simply just cut out a piece of vellum and put over that piece. I don't know if you can see. That was a little too bright for me. So I just took a piece of vellum and put on there. Cut him out with the die cuts there we go and I added and I've already lost one of his sequins because I've been playing with him so there's the birthday bonanza said I think that's fun earlier today I had put a birthday bonanza card up a picture up and I told you that I would show you how to do it and it would be nice if I had uh-oh, who's trying to get me? Oh, hang on just a minute, people. I've had quite a day here, and I just need to double-check something. Okay, everything's okay. All righty, now. Oh, the dies are right here. I kept them out. Silly me. So, I took the bigger die... And I dyed out my card base, sent it through um, my cut my die cutting machine, and then I used the next smaller one and cut out the paper. And we're gonna glue that together here. I'm just gonna layer that right on here. Nina, you made it. Good. I thought you were gonna be a little later. Okay, I'm going to just layer that on there. This is Grapefruit Grove, and this is the paper from Birthday Bonanza. I'm just going to slide that right there for now. Then I took my paper, and I folded it in half, and I took the die, and I placed it on my paper, and it's doubled now. So I just left a little bit there for a fold. Can you see how I left just a little bit? When I put it through, there was just that wee little bit there. I sent it through the big shot, and it came out like this. Then I just simply folded it in half, the top one. And that's going to be our top piece. Then I cut one out just single. Then on the inside, I'll have this to write. I cut, I cut out a white piece with this die right here, this big one. And I'm doing this without the picture, so I hope I can remember in my head what it looked like. And we're just going to lay that right on here. Okay. So that goes on there. Then this is not yet. I cut out these with my dies. Uh-oh, I lost a piece. There's more piece I was missing. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Here it is. No, it isn't. Oh, well. I'm going to just... And this is the two-way glue pen that we used to sell, and we don't... Oh, I got way too much there. So if you just put it on there, it will... Um, if I glue it right away, it'll stay glued on there. If I let it dry, then it becomes like a tacky note. 
Now I'm just going to take and glue this guy on here. Put this right there in the middle. And you're thinking, oh, that looks kind of ugly. But here's where now we'll take and we will, I die cut the designer series paper with that same die here. And we'll put that on there like so. Here's a little guy that I punched out earlier. Overkill. You only needed one dimensional. I put two on there. And we'll put him on there. Now, I only want tape on this bottom half. So I'm just going to put my tape on the bottom half. And I'm going to turn him over and just put a little tape here. But you'll notice I only put it on the bottom half. Now, I'm going to line this up with the top one. So there... It's blurry. Ta-da! We can write something in there. And then we can take our U pick tool, which is really nice because it will pick up sequins. And here happens to be a sequin that I have. And if you've got a, a bunch of them, you can just, this end has putty on it. We'll just pick it up. And I need him to be right about here. And I really don't. Oh, gosh. That's the kind of day I've had. So let's just put that right there. So you can use this end to scoop it. This end also has a pokey end so you can make holes or use it as a picky. It's called a U-Picket tool. So now, because I have that little sequin there that isn't dried yet, Well, you know what? That's not going to work. It would if I let it dry, but I'm too, um, I don't know what I am. Overtired. <laughs> oh, where are some of my blingies? I was going to be all together for you, but that's how my life goes sometimes. There they are. I put them right where I'd know where they were. So after you would stamp there, we'll just take a, a silver bling. And then that will stay in there like that. Can you see the little guy? Da, 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 da. So there he is. I mean, we'll just need to do a little bit more embellishing. And put a little happy birthday. So that's how what that one little card was done. It's really cute. Okay. Let's put you pick it away. Let's put these over here before I lose them. I already lost one on the floor. I'm sure you all heard it go ping. All right. Let's put that over here. There we go. Now... Let's play with some heat embossing. Here's another easel card. I seem to be into easel cards today. So here we go. There's Nina likes the silhouettes. Together is the perfect place to be. I love the silhouettes also. So let's make this card together, shall we? Let's just put this guy right up. I'm going to leave him right here while I grab a few things. I've already cut my piece of cardstock eight and a half by five and a half. I have an extra piece. This is the piece for the inside, or the middle piece. And these are the two outside pieces. So, buttons on a shirt, right? We need to do a little scoring. So 
So I am going to grab ooh, my Simply Scored. I love this. So I'm going to got all these lines in it and a stylus. If you rub your hand over it, the oils on your hand help the stylus move better. So I'm going to four and a quarter. I need it at four and a quarter. And what does my cheat sheet tell me to do? Okay. Okay, at one and a half. Sorry here. One and a half and four. So here's my one and a half, and I'm just going to score it up to that half, that four and a quarter mark. And at four, I'm going to do that. And that's just going to give me, so when I take my cutter, I'll know where to cut. Okay, have I lost anybody? Okay, paper cutter. Now I'm going to take my paper cutter, and I'm going to put my paper in, and I'm going to put it in at the one and a half, where I've scored it. It's just to help me see where I am. And I'm going to put that in. Actually, I'm going to bring it down this way. Here's my one and a half. Here's my four and a quarter. And I'm just going to score it down. Then I'm going to move it over to the four. And I'm going to cut it up to the four and a quarter. Perfect. Okay. so quiet in here. My husband's gone to work. I don't have any grandkids and the cats are being quiet. It's, and I can't hear you guys, so it's kind of creepy. Creepy quiet. Now I'm going to take my snail and I'm going to take these big flaps and I'm just going to glue them down on my card. Put some glue here, some here, some here, and line up the bottom so it's nice and neat. Okay, now I've got this piece flapping in the wind. Again, for an easel card, I'm just going to fold this in half right here. And where'd I go with my bone folder? I made sure I had my bone folder out because I was going to talk about bone folders. We'll use my fingernail. All right, now I've cut this, my papers here. This is more of the free paper that you can get when your order is $50. You can order some of the free designer series paper, and this is one of the ones that's free. I'm gonna put that one there. And isn't the back side of this kind of ugly? But wait till you see what I do with it. Oh, that's upside down. There we go. Now, stamp set. I'm going to stamp using memento ink I'm going to send together is the perfect place to be and I'm going to put that right about there yeah I don't like the way that's stamped much better that's what I like about stamping up there's two sides to the paper Okay. I can't tell if there's any more comments. Alrighty, I'm winging it, people. So I'm going to put this right in there. Okay. 
Now let's get to the goody stuff. This is the back side. Here's the pretty side that we put on our paper. This is the back side. That doesn't look so pretty, does it? But it's going to look pretty in a minute. It is, it is, it is. I don't need you. All right. Here it is. Embossing Buddy. Love my embossing buddies. I'm just going to rub it over my card, what I want to emboss on. And what this does, it just helps get rid of any static. Um, sometimes when you emboss, little flakes of embossing powder kind of get stuck to your card. And this just helps with the static. So, I've got my stamp with the guys under the umbrellas. And I'm going to ink it up good with Versamark. Versamark ink um, gives you a tone-on-tone -tone effect. Let me just take a scrap piece that I have here. And if you stamp it on paper, I don't know if this is going to show on the video. Uh, not so good. No, it's not going to show. It, it leaves a watermark. You can just barely see it on your background. You can see it better in person, but you can't. The lighting in here is not good tonight. There, see see the little shadow? So now that I've stamped that, I need to stamp it again. Get it all inked up real good. And again, I'm storing my ink pad upside down because it's not one of Stampin' Up's um, designed. And I've got my black embossing powder. And I've got a piece of paper. I like to put a piece of paper underneath here so that when I put my um, embossing powder on, I've got something to put it back in. I'm just going to center my image on my paper. Give it a good press. Hi, Sharon. And Cheryl and Danielle. I got lots of people. And Tina. I got lots of people. Jenny, wait till you see the, the uh, thank you card that I made for you. I think you're going to like it. I used some of the stuff that, that you purchased, so hopefully it'll give you an idea. Now I'm going to take my embossing powder and I'm going to dump it all over. And we'll just ease it off. Oh, that came out. Now I'm just going to pour this back into my container. You can use um, a coffee filter. You can use a piece of paper. If you're one of those people that has a little bit of everything, you might have an embossing tray. Now, we're going to get our heat tool out. I'm going to put my silicone mat underneath it. I thought that was um, waylaid embossing paper powder right there, but it's not. It's just how the uh, paper is. Okay. Alrighty. Now I'm going to take my heating tool and hopefully you'll be able to see this. Um, I see a spot that didn't get quite right there. There we go. That's what I wanted. There we go. And we'll cover up this. Turn this on so it gets good and warm. And we'll just put the heat tool on it and hopefully it'll be, oh, see it start to change? So you just heat it. I don't know if you can see how it's shiny up there. Oh, that's a better angle. Let's see if we can. See how it changes? So this is the wonderful world of heat embossing. The silicone mat just helps to hold some of the heat in. Now you can scorch your paper and you can set it on fire if you do it too long. Not a good idea. All right. We've got that there. Okay, we're going to need a little blingy. Let me get my blingy bling. I just had bling out. Here it is. 
Nope, those are dimensionals. We'll use those this time. Aren't those pretty? These are the bling that's in the back of the book. <laughs> I can't remember all the names. Now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put it on my paper here. Can you see what I'm... And again, we just want... And I'm using a lot of snail because um, these usually get opened and closed a lot. And that's the end of that snail. That's all right. I'm just going to, this is the same size as this piece. So after I drop it, all right, let's just pick it up and put it on there. And let's put, these kind of look like raindrops. Do you think these look like raindrops? Okay, get my picket tool and we'll just slide that underneath there. Come on. Aha. And let's just put one there and let's just put another one oops one, one right there so now you'll send this in the mail like this and when they get it hopefully they'll know that will hold that up like so and isn't that I'm trying to show it get it so you can See? It's so hard with these cameras to get them. But heat embossing is so much fun. There's so many things you can do with it. There we go. So there's that card. Well, I've got the heat embossing out. Let me find a piece of scrap. Here we are. And let's just take this, this for technique purposes only. We're just going to use the same stamp again. And I've got a sponge here. And let me just grab another sponge because I just thought of another technique that's a lot, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll use some... Now, I'm, what I'm going to do, let me just grab some white embossing powder. Let's just ink up the same stamp again. And this would work with any other one, but just for the sake of saving time. And I, ouch, hate it when there's dead air. I'm just going to damp this on my paper. Where's my embossing buddy? Hi, Megan. Oh, that's the first time you've seen heat embossing? Oh, it is so much fun. I inked that up. We're going to put that on here like so. Give it a good press. Get it in there good. Okay. Now, where's my paper? I think I may have grabbed vanilla paper instead of white, but that's okay. We'll still be able to do the technique I wanted to show you. And we'll put our white embossing powder on there. And we'll put it back in the container. And let's heat it up. Ladies, um, a heat gun is a heat gun. You do need a heat gun for this. You can't do it with a hair dryer. A hair dryer does not get hot enough. So, and a heat gun is a heat gun is a heat gun. Stampin' Up! has a very nice one, which I left at my daughter's, so I'm using my old standby. But it still works. Um, so, 
I would suggest for a heat gun, use your 50% off coupon and go to the big box stores, Joann's, Michael's, and use it for there. I can't give you 50% off for a heat gun. However, come back to me for the stamps, the paper, and the ink because I think ours are really, really good. Let's do a dauber. Let's find a dauber. Daubers are fun. I'll show you what daubers is. Daubers are little, little guys, little, there's a hole that you can stick your finger in at the bottom. And um, we'll open up. I just randomly grabbed a color here. Let's get rid of this. So you can't see really what's there, can you? So we're just going to, so we'll just do this. Isn't that cool? I love this. I love this. Oh, excuse me. Just a minute. Excuse me. Hi, can I call you back in about 15 minutes? Sure. Okay, bye. Sorry about that. Nobody ever calls me. Until you get busy doing something, then everybody wants you. So there's that color. And then let's just add. So that was with a little dauber. I guess it needs to be a little darker so you can see it. And you just burnish it. This is called burnishing. Now let's just take a sponge, and I've got some Coastal Cabana. So if you had butterflies, you could do different colors. This is just to show you what different color, how you can just blend. And there you have it. Isn't that neat? I love that technique. It would be so pretty if you had flowers. Okay. All right, that's heat embossing. Are there any questions about heat embossing? Let me see. Somebody's said something here. Yes, you can use it with chalk too. We certainly we don't currently sell the chalks anymore, but the chalks do a real good job. And then you can just take a rag or a tissue and just go over it and it gets any of the extra that might have been on the and it just makes it pop even more. So that's one of my favorite things to do with heat embossing. All right, now let's go to the wonderful world of dry embossing. So this is an embossing folder. And you put your paper in, and you line it up, and you send it through the machine and it comes out and you get this. Isn't that pretty? This is one of the new embossing folders. We did that one. This one is in the new catalog. And the hammered was has been carried over. This was in the Christmas catalog. And I don't know if you can that gives you this and it's bumpy and fun. Now, every die cutting machine is a little bit different, and all of them react a little differently. So, the sandwich that Stampin' Up suggests is, is you use your base, your your bottom, your base. Do not use a bottom plate, uh, especially with some of the deep embossing folders, like this particular one. Now this is one of the ones, this embossing folder is one of the ones that um, I'm going to give away free um, to a lucky person who puts in a $40 order or more. I'll put your name in for a drawing and you can get this embossing folder free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my paper in my embossing folder. Okay, I'm going to put it on my plate. This is um, plate is a little thicker. And it works good on the smaller ones, the smaller, the thinner embossing folders like this one is a thinner one. 
and that kind of takes up the extra room. So I'm just going to put my plate on, and I'm going to run it through my machine. You're going to hear some noise. I happen to have an electric one. I have bursitis in my shoulder and my husband took pity upon me. So it comes out. Wait till you see this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that something? Isn't that beautiful? Now, you, you could just put this on a card. You could just layer that on a card. Wouldn't that be pretty? Like that. Or you can jazz it up. We all like to jazz things up a bit. And you can color. You can take your blends, which are alcohol markers, or you can use regular markers, and you can just color the flowers in and make them pop. I'll just do a couple different ones. To show you. you just kind of go over where they are and pretty pretty right now through the magic of television sure through the magic of television my husband came in and wanted to use my desk and so I said here let me put things away and did you ever put anything away so good you couldn't find it? Here we go. Here's my finished product. This is Seafoam. I don't know if you can see the background. I am so sorry that the camera distorts the color so badly, but this Seafoam is so light and so pretty. And then this is bordered with Purple Posy. And then we have the flowers that I colored. Come on. Why are you not being nice? So isn't that something? I just love that. So that is one of the, I have two of those folders and um, I will give one away for to, I will put your name in a drawing for anybody who orders $40 or more into a drawing and you may win this embossing folder. Actually, I have two, so I will draw two names. If you don't want that, I've got other stamp sets that you might like to have. But isn't that pretty? We'll do a live and we'll do the drawing to see who wins. So that's about all I have prepared for tonight. It's been kind of a long day. Is there anything else I can that you would like to know about or see? Or this is what we did tonight. This is the wonderful world of embossing. This is called dry embossing. This is called heat embossing. So Here's some more dry ones. Oh, that we already saw that. Here's this guy, and here's Nita. Did you see how I did colored the paper? Were you here for that? So that's all there is. I kept you so late the other night, I felt bad. Um, so I just wanted to keep it a little shorter and sweeter tonight. I'm here if you need me. You can reach out and you can PM me. You can um, you can text me 734-771-7623. You can text me with questions. You can get a hold of me here. Okay, I can um, show you again real quick if you want in case anybody else may have missed it. Um, it's fun. I have another one. I have to make another thank you card, so I will show you how I did it real fast. I'm just going to take, this was the paper. Okay, we're going to make it look like this. I have uh, my crushed curry. I have a block. I'm going to pick up some ink and put it on the block. I have a sponge that I have. I put a, a library clip on it. You just need a drop of glycerin. It's just glycerin. I got this at Myers. You can get it at a drugstore. It's just glycerin. And you're just going to mix that all together. 
I like to start off the paper and you just sponge it on. Now I'll be all ready to cut this up and make some more thank you cards for my club members. See, wasn't that quick and easy? It just glides right on there. And you can do as many layers as you want, and but that's good for this. And then to clean off the block, I just take a baby wipe and wipe it off. And boom, that one's done. Okay. Bear with me while I make my mouse work. Come on. There we go. Yeah, the glycerin's cheap, Nina. If I can make this work. I'm getting frustrated. Okay, that's... It in a nutshell tonight, um, leave me a message, write something on here. I hope that I sparked some interest, maybe taught you something new. Um, that's it. So good night, everybody. Thanks for bearing with me. And I think I'm going to come back on Saturday during the day, or I may just put some videos up of some other things. Um, if there's something you'd like to see let me know. So that's it, people. I'm going to sign off. And um, I hope this one wasn't as blurry as last time. Okay, well, I'll see you maybe on Saturday then for a little bit. Good night. Have a good evening. And um, everyone, happy stamping, happy craft crafting. Bye-bye for now.